Welcome back to Vlatlix. Before you start watching this episode, make sure you already watched part one where I explained to you all the basics on how to build a home bar. I absolutely didn't expect that so many people would ask for part two. And in this episode, I will explain the same way. We will talk about bar tools and equipment, also spirit and non-alcoholic ingredients. So basically everything for advanced bar at home. But before we start, if you're new to this channel, I will ask you one thing. Can you please go subscribe? Okay, let's get it started. So first you need good quality torch. I personally prefer to have it with a larger tank since we use it quite a lot. They're a big advantage from regular lighter when you need to use spray or during tea cocktail presentations. Next is regular smoking gun. Choose desired flavor chips and start infusing your favorite drinks. Oh, by the way, you see we also here are using torch. This is kind of dope, right? Next, with this regular peeler, you make just standard citrus zest. But if you take zigzag scissors and cut edges, it's going to turn into a lot prettier garnish. Let me show you a couple examples where you can use it. First, you can pin it on the rim of the cocktail glass. Looks pretty cool, right? And if you made cocktail on rocks, you can just put it inside. Next, you need to have this citrus zester. It's super useful when you will need to garnish dessert cocktails. Next bar tool is ice chipper. It's perfect if you need to make some quick adjustments real quick. In super short period of time, you can smooth corners on ice cube. And if you practice just a little bit longer, you will be able to make ice spheres real easy. Next on our list is pretty cool device. It's an egg topper. Well, obviously it's a pretty convenient way to separate egg white from yolk. Just tap a few times, but here's the thing. Let me show it to you what else you can do with it. Take small part of the shell and pin it in a glass rim. It's a pretty cool way to improve your garnish game. And also if you make cocktails on rocks, you can simply just place it on top of the ice. Let me know what cocktails you guys would garnish that way. This type of sticks I would recommend to have for your garnishes. Metal ones, because they're so awesome and looks really good in cocktails. There's two ways to make crushed ice. You can just use ice crusher. This is actually my favorite way because it's pretty fast and convenient. Well, unless you have to prepare like 50 cocktails for your friends who showed up at the same time. Next, you can use mullet and ice bag. So just fill it up with ice and smash it until like it's all crushed it's actually a pretty cool way because you also can control and make crushed ice a lot smaller but what i don't like about it it's obviously too loud next you should have one swizzle especially if you like to make and drink tiki cocktails by the way let me know if you should make more tikis on this channel next is a high speed blender i'm using hamilton beach i actually need to get new ones since we've been using this one for a really long time if you watched our white Russian cocktail video, you know we used for expert version cream whipper. Not using it a lot, but we're building an advanced home bar here, so I would recommend to have one for cream and also one for soda. Get pack of chargers and it should last for a pretty long time. In future episodes, we will talk about how to make flavored foams, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. To make this type of garnishes, we use dehydrator, but at home you actually can use an oven. Ice press works great for presentations, especially if you're making a cocktail in front of someone, and it's probably easiest and fastest way to turn ice cubes into spheres. You can use it for absolutely anything, but I personally do this presentation when I serve premium whiskey to someone. Flavor Blaster. It's kind of pricey, but it will put your cocktail presentations on a completely different level. You can use it for making bubbles, mist, and vapor clouds for your cocktails. It comes with a variety of flavors. It's super easy to use. There is coil, tank, you fill up with aromatic flavor, put it all together, press the button, and infuse your drink with favorite flavor. Yep, it's that easy. This is slowly becoming one of my favorite pieces of equipment at the home bar. Basically, it's a portable, old manual espresso maker that uses no pods or electricity and produces really high quality espresso shot. So if you like to make and drink espresso based cocktails, this is pretty good and affordable solution. To basic model, you can get few extra parts to make your experience even better, but we'll talk more about it in the future when we will be making coffee based cocktails. Stainless steel injector we use to remove water from ice sphere and also fill it up with your favorite cocktail. Small ice cooler, we need to make large blocks and cut them later. True cube ice molds we use to make yep uh, clear ice cubes. Next is glassware. I recommend to get julep cup. Uh, doesn't matter which one, copper or regular. I'm just showing you two examples. Also cup for Moscow mule. Couple different tiki mugs. The scarier the better. <laughs> few different sizes rocks glasses, and also a few different good-looking cocktail glasses. Also at your advanced home bar, you will be experimenting with creative cocktails, so you should look into 
fancy gloss wear such as light bulb or this balloon looking gloss. Now I will mention how you should start upgrading your spirit collection. But of course, this is just my personal preference. Lilia to make Vesper Martini and Corpse Reviver. Sweet Vermouth for cocktails such as Negroni, Manhattan or Martinez. Cachaca for all kind of Cabrinhas. Absinthe for Sazerac or Death in the Afternoon. And this bottle is gonna last for a while since you use just a little bit. Maraschino liqueur for Aviation or Hemingway Daiquiri. Dark and overproof rum for cocktails such as Dark and Stormy or some tiki cocktails. Sidecar, Cosmo and a lot of other cool cocktails have Grand Marnier in their recipes. But of course you can replace it with more affordable version Cointreau. You can't make Singapore sling without Benedictine liqueur and Pisco Sour wouldn't be the same without Pisco. Two of the most popular cocktails would be Spirits Negroni and Aperol Spritz. Some of my favorite cocktails such as Black Russian, White Russian and Espresso Martini are made with Kahlua liqueur. Make sure to get good quality tequila and mezcal for cocktails such as Paloma and Margarita. With De Serrano you make Godfather or Amaretto Sour and also Citron, great for Lemon Drop and Cosmopolitan Cocktail. This magic cocktail former works great as an egg white replacement. Edible glitter different colors to make dazzling cocktails. Good quality cream of coconut for pina coladas. You should have large aromatic glitter set so it will let you experiment with the different cocktail recipes. If you stayed until here, thank you so much, you absolute legend. And I will ask you just one thing, please send it to someone who would like to set up an advanced bar at home. As always, never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.